Why does smoking cause lung cancer? It is no secret that smoking is one of the main causes of lung cancer. In fact, smoking is linked to four out of every five cases of lung cancer. Unfortunately, half of all smokers will eventually die from cancer or smoking-related illnesses. On the bright side, it is the most preventable cause of lung cancer, as smoking cessation can reduce the appearance and exacerbation of cancer. To understand why smoking is such a large cause of lung cancer, it is essential to understand the biology behind cigarette smoke. The main ingredient in cigarettes is tobacco. Tobacco smoke contains cancer-causing agents that damage important genes which control the growth of cells and cause them to grow abnormally or reproduce rapidly. This can result in tumor development and growth. In total, there are over 70 known carcinogens in tobacco which are linked to damaging one's DNA, increasing cell division leading to cancer, damaging brain cells, or damaging lungs and airways. Tobacco smoke also affects the functions of the immune system and may increase the risk for respiratory and other infections. Carbon monoxide is another harmful chemical in cigarette smoke that reduces the capacity of the blood to carry oxygen and can result in breathing difficulties. This can be seen in the characteristic smoker's cough that many smokers possess. Why then do people continue to smoke? It's because of an addictive substance in cigarette smoke called nicotine, which releases pleasure-giving dopamine. Nicotine is able to reach the brain within 10 seconds of being inhaled. As a result of repeated exposure to this cigarette smoke, smokers become dependent or addicted to nicotine. Therefore, smokers find it very difficult to stop smoking, even if they are aware of the harmful effects. There have been several mechanisms proposed to explain why cigarettes are so harmful to smokers. One mechanism is that smokers face a higher level of oxidative stress. Oxidative stress is thought to be the general mechanism behind the aging process and can also contribute to the development of cancer. Oxidative stress can mutate DNA, promote atherosclerosis, and lead to chronic lung injury. It is the result of an imbalance of antioxidants and free radicals in the body. Antioxidants can be seen as the good guys in our body that help us repair damaged cells by fighting off free radicals. It has been found that smokers have lower levels of antioxidants in their blood than non-smokers. Therefore, smokers are not able to overcome this oxidative stress. Being a smoker is not the only way that one can be exposed to the harmful effects of smoking. Secondhand smoke is a common way by which someone is exposed to cigarette smoke in their environment, possibly due to daily contact with a smoker. Secondhand smoke contains over 4,000 chemicals, many of them causing cancer. Two-thirds of the smoke from a cigarette is not inhaled by the smoker, but enters the air around them. Secondhand smoke has at least twice the amount of nicotine and tar as the smoke inhaled by the smoker, and has five times the amount of carbon monoxide. There is a dose-response relation between a non-smoker's risk of lung cancer and the number of cigarettes and years of exposure to the smoker. The longer you are exposed through environmental smoke, the higher the likelihood of developing lung cancer. As an example, a woman who has never smoked has an estimated 24% greater risk of lung cancer if she lives with a smoker. Not all cases of lung cancer are a result of smoking. And of course, not all smokers develop lung cancer. However, smoking is the leading cause of the disease. Additionally, smoking can be just as harmful to those around the smoker as the smoker themselves. Fortunately, Smoking is the most preventable cause of lung cancer. Quitting smoking can help with the prevention and the prognosis of the disease.